kilos for much of her career. She bumps up to 59. Gold medal match underway. And right away, Dudova, who loves the two-on-one, the Russian tie, jumps on the arm of Henai. Henai pulling with the offside hand on the neck of Dudova. She's going to look to yep, earn head position in the neck of Dudova and not allow her to create an angle or drag that by. For a moment, Dudova gave up on the two-on-one. Comes back to it. Still looking for the proper leverage, and she found it! A four-point launch from Bulgaria. Beautiful job of faking one way with the two-on-one and then pulling it back the other way with a nice hip pop. Four, four, two more. They're going to go, we're going to have a conference here as the referee called two red, the mat judge called four, red, four blue and two red. So we're going to bring it in here to see where we're going with the scoring. Boy, I cannot believe they did not give Bulgaria anything. And yeah, here comes the challenge. She's right. going to get something. She's got to. She pulled Hanai through for a two-point exposure, and then Hanai drove her forward to her back. But I will be surprised if it's not a six-to-two lead right now at the end of this, or even six-to-one. Because you're thinking it would just be the one on the reversal. On the reversal, point. right? If she scored first, let's see. On this, here we go. So she pulls and exposes there for two and then a one point reversal. It was close to not being across 90 degrees. However, I do believe when she pulled her through, there was two points on the exposure right there. Yeah, I'm with you. I think that's four. So originally they gave four points for the feet to back hold, and then they gave Hanai two points for the takedown when they came back up. So they give two red, or two blue on for Dodova, two red for Hanai, so a six to two lead now for Dodova. I think it's the right call, as they believe that Hanai put Dodova in danger at the end of that to get it. And Bulgaria will be given their challenge back. When you win a challenge, you're allowed to keep it for the rest of the match. If you lose it, it's gone. So Bulgaria still has that in their back pocket. Good challenge from their corner in a 6-2 lead. Quite a start from Dudova. And that extra two points makes a huge difference, especially when you're wrestling a Japanese wrestler, because what we've seen is the Japanese women can come back when they're down in a match. She's thinking one point at a time. Let's get back in this match. Red, no fingers. Blue, no fingers. Aki Hanai won this spot, earned her place in Oslo by winning the two national championships that serve as the domestic qualifiers. Has a really close relationship with the two-time Olympic gold medalist Kawhi. Actually, the Olympic medalist stood in Aki's uh, corner during the national championships. The two train together all the time, and Kawhi has really helped her with the technique and how to handle pressure in certain matches, and I'm sure those two had a conversation before NIE's really biggest senior-level match of her career. And having that type of mentorship from one of the best ever and the person that uh, knows how to win, that's, that's a, a great mental edge. Inside 30 seconds to go. Pace is slow down after the uh, rip rocket start from Dudova. I'm surprised Dudova hasn't gone back to that two on one. She was so, you know, even if she doesn't score the four point feet to back hold, 
she has good control because Hanai is good wrestler from the outside as you see that little swing single right up to a finish. Short time wrestling, can Hanai finish it for two? Running out of time and the period is gonna expire. No points, no control. So Dudova dodges a late missile from the 21 year old Japanese wrestler. And Dudova, really nice job on defense there. She drove her hips into Hanai, tried to knock her over a little bit and then caught the foot. That was clutch. A lot of depth at this weight for the Bulgarians. Dudova did not make her country's Olympic team. In fact, uh, just to give you an idea of how deep they are, Bulgaria actually brought home a bronze medal from Tokyo with Evelina Nikolova. That was at 53 kilos. Nikolova won the Bulgarian spot at the European qualifiers. It's been a good start, though, for Dudova. Four-time European champion. Won the Kolov-Petrov tournament to start the calendar year here in 21 as she stayed sharp. All prepping for this moment in Oslo. Now, it's funny, for a lot of the non-Olympic athletes, these world championships, that, that was their main aim. Just depends on your perspective and, and how you handle it with the rare two-month differential because of the COVID pandemic this year. Right, and typically you have 10 weight classes, and when you shrink to six for an Olympic Games, that makes that stress a lot to have to either move up or move down to find a spot on your Olympic team. So having 10 weights for men's freestyle, men's Greco-Roman and women's freestyle makes these world championships uh, that much more special for the non-Olympic weights. Uh, Dudova got caught off balance and Hanai pounced on that. Good recovery though by Dudova, but Hanai in a pretty good position here to score, I think. And she puts her forehead right on the knee, keeping that hip pressure down on Dudova. Dudova's hips and her motion side to side is really nice. As it looks like if you don't have three, four seconds from now, they're gonna blow it up and there you go. Wow, I thought Hanai had two for sure on that. Not, I mean, not there, but I, I thought it was gonna eventually get to two. I did too, especially when her forehead went in the knee and she started to lift the foot up of Dodova. Presence of mind Dodova had to swing her hips to the outside and, and uh, get out of the way and, and not give up position. She actually earned position. Dudova, even by her own admission, had a really tough time in Nur Sultan in Kazakhstan, the site of the last World Championships. Really wanted to come out strong. That was after a runner-up finish the year before in Budapest. Looking more like her 2018 form than the 2019 version. 70 seconds to go in the match. Dudova still behind the first period offense on top. And that big four point move is gonna make a big difference if Hanai can get on top here. But Dudova's defense is spectacular. Ninety nine percent of wrestlers are getting taken down from those attacks and Dudova resilient on her defense. Close to getting a step out. And look at Dudova, just turn positions on a dime. It can be so disheartening if you are getting into those good positions. There's two for Hanai. Hasn't been confirmed nope, yet. It gets white paddled, in fact. But the chairman did call the two, and it's definitely two now. So she needs a couple of turns. Remember the four point throw by Dudova. She has the biggest move using everything she has to keep her belly button to the mat. And she has won the world title. So close in the past, she's dominated the continent of Europe. Well, in 2021, she dominates the world. The championship to Viljana Dudova. So well done. You see Hanai right now, usually 
even in wins or losses. You don't see a lot of emotion from the Japanese wrestlers, but you can tell she's a, a broken woman at this point.